this point, you know, sometimes it takes experience. I'm wondering if now that you have some of that experience, if you see more validity to that point or what you think about that now that you've gone through it. Milton. Okay, so Middleton so was funny there. That obviously, yes, that became the gift. It requires some explanation and it's complicated, but that's yeah. an ESPN reporter asking the question. And there was, a, she had written a story that, that a lot of people believed made Giannis mad, and that's why he walked out. And she was on ESPN radio saying she does not believe that's why he walked out. He was just expressing his frustration, mm -hmm. one way or the other, on that. How about the, the, that fact, the notion that he kind of, you know, there it is, your season's just ended, you're, you're the team. I mean, it is, it is Giannis and the Bucks, and, you know, you walk out of a press conference because that maybe, that maybe because there's a reporter that you have an issue with, maybe because it is, you, are, you are just so frustrated that you just couldn't answer one more question. Would that be of any concern to you? No, not, not at all. In having watched Giannis go through his career early on, I love Giannis. I love his makeup. I love what he stands for. I love who he is. He's emotional. Obviously, he wants to get his team to the finals. It didn't happen. It's tough to go up there right after a, a loss like that. And he was probably looking for anything to exit. I don't, I don't know. But in just talking to the people that have coached him in the past, some of the people that coach him now, his teammates, they all love him. They say, this guy's in, he's different. This guy works like crazy, and it's not him saying he's working. It's not him posting pictures of him working. It's what other people that are with him are saying about him and what he's done for that franchise. His impact on win winning is significant. He's not only brought out the best in himself, he's brought the best out in his teammates. To be 24 years old and to have the type of season that the Bucks did, he gets a lot of credit for that. So if he you know, walks off the stage like he's emotional, and losing bothers him, and I love that about him. You have a specific example of losing bothering him, too, <laughs> that you were bringing up to us earlier. We're going to see it right here, but go ahead yeah, and get Tim, us started us on it. it. Yeah, so th this was game six uh, against uh, uh, the Bucks, and it's the end of the game, and he just winds up, oh. and he wipes <laughs> Dunleavy out, you know, and... <laughs> And I think that the, the big thing for him was, again, the frustration. And you can look at how skinny he is in that picture. Yeah. This right. guy has added 40 pounds of muscle. Yeah. And he's just worked incredibly hard uh, on his body. To now, let me, let me add this about Dunleavy. Yeah. Dunleavy's thrown a lot of punches in his time as well. So, But I, I love that he hated to lose. And the way this guy has worked every night in the gym, practices, does it by – he's not – you know, I don't think he'll ever leave Milwaukee. But, but just – Wait, hold on, sorry, say that again? I don't think he'll ever leave Milwaukee. I think he wants to do it there. Mm -hmm. And the way he's been, what he's done for that franchise, even last year in the playoffs, to take the Celtics to seven games and to see his growth this year and what he's doing for that franchise, it says a lot about him. And he's 24 years old. His impact on winning is phenomenal. It's very interesting that you say that yeah. because – the belief is that there's sort of been a conventional wisdom. Can they get over the top with him there? Do they need to win for him to stay? Mm -hmm. and, and generally, the sense that people have is that the reason he may have been frustrated with the reporter who asked the question is that she had written a piece suggesting that they need to win the whole thing in order to entice him to want to stay. But you don't see it I that don't, way. I from don't see him. it that way. The, his teammates rave about him. I think the way who he is and how he plays will attract players to go there, too. Huh. Well, I'm going to say this. If he stays... With what he's done, he's going to get what they call a super max contract. Right. And if he goes somewhere else, he's going to lose $50 million. That's the end of the story right there. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be in Milwaukee. He's going to be in Milwaukee. There we go. Right, then let's talk about him as a player in a different regard. Because he is the guy that when people say, well, if you could start a franchise with any one player, his name probably comes up more than anybody else's. And he has made himself from what he was, that skinny kid that we saw there in, in four years ago, into this guy who is chiseled and awesome now. But we saw some of the flaws in his game, some of the things he is missing. What does he need to add to the repertoire to take it next level next year? I think year? the big thing is the free throw shooting. That has to improve. Uh, I like what he did with his three-point shot this year. You can see he's improved that significantly. He's a lot more confident, and I think it'll get better and better as time goes on. But every year, this guy has come back significantly better. And you don't do that by talking about working, hanging out, doing OK. This guy is in the gym working. And that's why he's improved. Uh, let, let, before, before I get my comment, yeah. 
Is it me or everything Tibbs is saying is po I mean pre-social media? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like anything with social media is just this bad thing because he's old school and I love him to death. Yeah. But <laughs> Giannis is going to have to to get a, a mid-range jump shot because what the Toronto Raptors did to him in this series was played zone. Okay? And they dared him to to make that shot out front. And I think, uh, like Tip said, he, he shot the three a little bit better. Okay? And my last point for him as far as his development going into next year, he has to be a better passer out of double teams. Hmm. And he saw that a, a lot in this Toronto series. And, you know, he, he had some turnovers that, you know, he shouldn't have had. So th those are the two things that I but think LeBron he should early on in his on. career. Now, he always had – LeBron always had the passing component. Yeah. But his shooting improved each year. And I think we're going to see the same thing from Giannis. Yeah, yeah. Th th that's the trajectory. And well, I would agree with the notion that the, the level of work this kid has shown you, the improvement he's made. People talk about him like he was the first pick in the draft. This is not a guy anyone yeah. saw coming.